Um, directors, if you want to chat, go ahead and let your teams know on your team page that we are on. I don't know if you do that. I try to do that. Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome to Monday Moves. Today, how, what did we title this one? We're gonna talk about front loading and holiday prep. And the importance of doing that. What it looks like, it's gonna look different for each one of us. Who wants to kick it off tonight? Hi, Elizabeth. Stacy, do you want to go first? Just to put you on the hot spot because you're who I can see. Maybe she can't hear me. JC, do you want to go first? Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> no, you're good. Stacy, can you hear us? She can't hear you. Maybe she can. It's okay. Uh, JC, you just, you get us started and then her, she'll be able to get it figured out. Okay. Um, okay. Everyone else can hear. Okay, cool. Okay. So, um, hi everyone. I'm JC for those who may not know me. Um, I am going to talk on, um, LTOs as far as holiday harvest, when, um, as far as when to share, I won't lie. I just shared holiday in my VIP tonight. Um, mainly because number one, I have hit, um, a sales goal for the month. So I'm not pushing my, I mean, of course I'm pushing myself to do more, but I'm good to stop for a second and front load into the next month. So what does that look like for me? Well, anything going out into PWS mail, um, I actually have one right here on me. Um, so I had a ton of people shop our sale, um, our clearance sale, and I've been working on PWS mail today. So I'm using these envelopes right here. This is like just a side note of how I'm starting to share a holiday. I'm including a holiday brochure and I have 18 of these going out. So it's not your typical throw it all together, big extra package because it's eight, there's 18 people that's getting one. Um, I'm doing a bright cider life scent circle and I'm going to write a personal note right here in it. And then I'm including September sheet, which has all about the warmer of the month, scent of the month, a scent highlight, um, just different options here. And then my personal thank you. Now, if I had number one, if I had felt number two, if I had warmer of the month brochures for last month or this month or next month, I would include but I have not gotten my warmer of the month yet um, for next month. So I can't include any of that. And in my, how my brain works is that as soon as that comes, I have to make samples of it and get it out in my um, club mail, which I have 15 going out this month. So that's important to get out um, as well as get it out for my um, set of the month club. So in my brain, I'm like, I don't have anything to do right now until that arrives. I'm going to knock 18 of these out right now. And it, they're just going to get what they get at this point, because again, I don't have that stuff and I'm just not going to wait. So it's flat. Okay. goes down in here, but this is me front loading for the holiday collection by them getting in this in the mail this week. Okay. So these brochures, if you don't know, you can purchase them on the, um, success store. They aren't expensive at all. Um, they're very detailed, but they're flat. They fit right in an envelope. And this is one way on how I'm front loading my month. Um, as far as my VIP page goes, 
Um, I kind of stole exactly what Jessica Markham did because she, it pops up on my screen today and she had a great like catchy phrase. And so I, it basically says, follow la la la. I couldn't wait any longer to share the goods with y'all. Coming October 1st is our gorgeous holiday collection. As always, these are first come first serve, but I love the 10 Christmas tree. Mine, mine, mine. This is the best holiday collection ever. And then I put a link to the holiday collection flyer, which I did attach to my link tree. So once they click my link tree, it's going to come up. First thing is holiday collection 2021. And then I just put like a little flyer with it. And then at the same exact time that I posted this, I went to the album section. If y'all don't utilize the album section in your VIP page, I spoke on this before. This is amazing. Any LTO, any, anything. I upload it all into an album here in my VIP page so that if they didn't see my post, they'll get notification that I've added a new album and I've added however many pictures to a new album. So it's just a new way of people to get notification to see. Um, and I just uploaded every single image on our marketing image here in this. Um, I'm sure you'll hear others speak on Google Forms. I'm not a fan, um, not a fan at all for my customer base. I just am not a fan. <laughs> um, so I won't, I'll let somebody else talk on that. If that's like something that you want to do, I basically just start my pre-order list, um, based on who comments on these photos. I engage in the photos. I tell them it's coming, you know, I'll reply and be like, it's coming out, um, October 1st, first come first serve. Um, and I'll start a pre-order list, like a pen and paper, old school type pre-order list. Um, I will do one big post um, towards the end of the month and I will basically tag everybody I have a pre-order from. I don't say what they got, but I'll just tag them in one big post and I will say if your name is listed here, I've received your pre-order list or your pre-order, be sure to pay by the like the 29th just to give or the day before the last day of the month to give myself some extra time to get my life together. Um, and I will mark it on that sheet, whether that they've paid or not. Cause again, that's another marketing aspect as far as people seeing, Oh, wow, this person, this person, this person ordered something. I want to order something too. Like her name's up here. I want my name up there. Like that type of stuff. Um, I do the same thing for LTOs. Um, it's just, I'm a pen and paper, but also visual when it comes to marketing as well. Um, so that's kind of what I do. Um, I will definitely do a customer email as well. Um, again, just letting them know, Hey, if you want to pre-order anything on this brochure, text me and let me put your pre-order down. Don't email me back because honestly, I don't know. I I'll watch what I say, but email tab is just not my friend on workstation. And I am crossing my fingers that a huge upgrades coming wink, wink in the future. Um, until then I just tell them to text me so that it doesn't get lost because I texted, um, just this past weekend, actually, I sent out, um, an email about our clearance and two people replied to it. And I didn't even see their replies. They text me like, Hey, did you get my email? And I'm like searching their name in my inbox. Like, well, I'd love to know where it's at because I never got it. So until that gets a major upgrade, I just tell them to text me to make sure that I can guarantee their spot. Um, so that's kind of how I do um, um, holiday, harvest, whatever. Um, I did have, so for harvest, I had a girl interested in using her host rewards to grab, wanting to do a party to use host rewards to grab all the things that she wanted at a discount. So what I did was I ran her party the last week of the month and closed it out on the first. So she was able to close her order out on the first and at 3 a.m. I closed it out and grabbed all of her holiday or harvest items at a discount. So if you have people that are like, you know, dropping comments about, you know, I'd love this, this, and this, this, and this, but I can't afford it all offer to do them a party, run it the last week of the month, have it close out it out, like have everything ready to go, closing it out on. So you're basically like pre-selling everything. Like you can do that. It, that's okay. Um, especially to help others get their stuff for a budget they're on. Um, yes, definitely shopping links for everybody. Um, 
so yeah, that's kind of how I do things. Um, I can't remember if I'm missing anything off the top of my head. I may chime in throughout if other people share. Um, but did anybody else want to piggyback off of that? I can. So I do use Google Forms, um, which is what she said that she, uh, she didn't like. Um, I just feel that there are some customers that even though they're in my VIP group, they don't really engage a whole lot. Um, they're not really tech savvy. Like I have one that will fill out my Google form and order stuff, but does not reply when I text her. Maybe she just doesn't want to talk to me. She just wants the order placed and to be done with it. That's fine. You know, I want to make sure that I am helping everybody, even if there's somebody who just doesn't like to talk or be social, you know? So with the Google form, um, what I do is I create my Google form. It's free. Um, I have it set to where it will send me an email. Someone told me that there's a way to make it where you'll even get an, um, like a text when you, when someone fills out your Google form, I haven't figured that out. I just get an email. I have an email that's specifically for nothing but Sensi. So I know if I get an alert in that email that it has to do with Sensi. it's a PWS order. It's an email from Sensi telling me that our payments in it is my Google form getting filled out. It's a Zoom that I need to, you know, start, whatever. It's only Sensi stuff. So I use that. Um, sorry, I get distracted because I have to let these people in. Um, so I, I use that. So the Google form is very simple to fill out. I think that once you do one, you'll have it down. Um, you can require. So what I do is I make sure that I put in um, I make it a requirement for them to give me their first and last name, their phone number, their email, their address, including the city and state. And people will still sometimes not put that in there. Um, and then if they want their items to be shipped, how they want to be paid, how they want to pay and how they want me to contact them. I make all of those, like they have to click something on those. And then I put in a picture of each of the items that are coming out when it comes to harvest and holiday it's a lot of stuff um so it does take a minute to get it going and then you save that and then i use mailchimp which is new for me it's what i just started using and i create a um what is it a campaign is that what it's called uh jc i believe that's what it's called um i create a campaign to put it make it real cute you can customize it a little bit i'm not super good at it yet so mine are kind of plain um, and then I add in, and I'm like, on there, I go, if you see anything you like, um, just fill out this form right here, and then I will send you a message with your total. So they kind of know what to expect. They can get a brief summary in the email without having to click the Google form and click, like, see everything. They get a summary, like, of the real hot items. I'll put them in the, just in the email. Um, so that's really nice. Um, I'm trying to think. I know that I've gotten a lot of orders from like I, for the harvest collection, I had a lady message me. She just, well, she didn't message me. She filled out the Google form. And I kind of thought it was like, maybe she messed up because it was $280 worth of stuff. And I was like, oh, I don't think she realized she was clicking on this. So then I reach out to her and she's like, yeah, I just want all of it. And I'm like, got it. I got you. And obviously I spoiled the crap out of her because she had over $200 in, in just her own self. Right but I didn't know if this stuff would sell out. So I didn't want to be like, oh, let me do a party link for you. You know, I didn't go through all that. I just spoiled the crap out of her with stuff um, after the fact. So she got like a six pack of bars for free because I had host rewards to use, whatever. That's how I did it because I was scared stuff was gonna sell out. But Google Forms are really helpful for me with my business. Um, I don't have a lot of people who want to just sit and talk to me and I don't have the customer base in relations like JC does, who's been doing it a lot longer. So I love Google forms. Um, so I will pass it on to anybody else who might want to add something before we start talking about front loading. Maybe we'll do it that way today. We'll just like go through this like holiday stuff and then we'll go into front loading. Real quick. Um, Lindsay said, if you download the Google form app, it will alert when you have a response. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I will definitely be adding that. So it's an app, Google form app. Because I have Google Drive. Un unmute Lindsay Carlton. She's the one that. Um, hey there. <laughs> Got it. Hi, Lindsay. Hey. 
So um, yes, there is an app. Actually, let me look it up really quick. Okay, so it's called Forms app and it's Google. It's basically the Google Forms app. Okay. And I really like it because I don't have to log in every time to like check my responses or say I'm doing a party and I wanna look up someone's information that's filled out my form because I use it obviously for that too. It's just um, a lot more user friendly than just using the regular, you know, email and then having to go through all the steps to like look at your responses. So anyway, it's it's been really good. Lindsay, do you pay for this? Cause I'm on it now and it said subscribe. No, I have the free version. Um, <clears throat> let me see, it's, yeah, it's just called Forms app and it's free. So I don't know, I might be able to find a link and share it that way with you guys. So you have the right one. Oh wait, sorry, I didn't see that. Can you show me, show me again? It's purple and it has like a, a box and looks like writing and a check, right? Yes. Yeah, I clicked open and it says subscribe. Um, weird. Yeah, I, maybe I can re-download it. Yeah, possibly. It, it's. It's never been anything that I've had to pay for, but yeah, maybe, maybe see. Any other questions about that or anything? <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, what's going on? Jess, do you have anything to add that you do for LTOs or Harvest Holiday Collection before we get into front loading or Stacy, Donna, Marcella? Um, I don't necessarily have anything super new to offer um, on top of what was just said, to be completely honest with you. Um, I would probably have more to say on front loading. Okay. I, uh, I will say I don't buy, I don't always buy the holiday or harvest brochures. If I don't have an order going in, I don't buy them because it's $8 shipping and that's just not in the cards for me, but you can make your own and print that off or like I'll just make take like one of like a, a picture like this and I'll add the different things to it and then I'll mail it like a postcard so there are ways around it if you don't um if it's not financially fit for you to get the brochures like I did not get the holiday brochures I will be making my own little postcard to mail yeah out. because postcard stamps are 35 cents yep so if you put it on a postcard that's a very economical way to get your holiday collection out under people's noses. Well, it wouldn't be under their nose unless you have a scratch or sticker, but um, at you least can they can get see it where you can see them. Right. Yep. Yeah. Well, and off of that too, I love how she said that because with the, you figure those brochures, they're like three, four pages long. So it probably weighs, you know, depending on what all you're mailing, it can weigh down your package and go from freaking 50 cents to whatever depending on what you're mailing as a thank you or whatnot. Um, and nowadays, a lot of people will make those graphics. So like, I'm sure every director here is pretty good about sharing what's shared from other leaders. And recently they've been making a lot of those graphics, which are, are awesome because it has all those marketing images put on one little graphic, like I said, that, that's a really big thing I started doing too, because I would always snag those brochures and now I'm like, think smarter and not work harder about it uh, with that. Um, I'll just piggyback last about the um, holiday. Um, I have found to be a little bit successful with the Google Forms myself, um, mainly because not everybody is on Facebook. Not everybody checks Facebook. People get annoyed with Facebook. They may check out from Facebook. Like, I mean, I talk to people all the time that they'll be like, I'm just taking a break from social media. Cool. Well, that's awesome. So you have to really think about like hitting different people 
And we can't just focus on one independent platform. We have to really focus wide. And the Google Forms have helped me with that because, for instance, with the harvest, I still had incoming orders off of that harvest pre-order form even after the launch day. And we still have items available still today. But by making that, by people checking their emails, and I would then remind them, like, don't forget to check your email if you're interested in still ordering on the Harvest Collection. Um, this month, any email that I had sent out, I would include that, my link tree, and et cetera. So that way they would be able to not only, and if you're not using, that's like a total freaking another training with the link tree and whatever you use, because that's really good because it's like a one-stop shop by people by you sending them a link to look at Sensi Club, to look at your website, to join, to look at a pre-order form. So it's all things using one link. So that's really cool. So we'll have to figure out when to talk about that. Um, but for me, the Google form has been super successful. Um, and one thing that I'm gonna try this holiday launch is by using Project Broadcast with my holiday Google form. I always do the Google form. I always do the VIP posting. Um, I, I meant to post yesterday and I forgot, um, but I thought like, hey, there's like what, 12 days left, like 12 days left until Christmas, whenever that little saying is whatnot. Um, so I was gonna share an item a day, but then part of me was like, you know what, if I do an item a day, what if so-and-so shares another item that I didn't share? So you really have to think about that too. Play it smart because again, people can shop from anybody. And if you're taking care of your sales now, you'll be able to share the holiday collection. If you've not hit your 500, if you're a leader, then that's the issue. And that's what you need to be focusing on before you even share the holiday. But you really need to focus in on with the holiday, making sure you're doing different avenues. Don't just focus on Facebook, focus on the stories, the Facebook stories, the Instagram stories, the emails, the, um, if you use a certain app, like some people find super success using the hit em up app. Um, I know Chloe, Chloe Cox uses the hit em up app and she loves it because she puts things in different groups. So she has a group for Sensi Club, uh, potential Sensi Club, um, VIPs, you can put groups in that app. Um, if you like that app, I use that app too. It's, it's great. But one thing that I wish it did was it would send them all at once. And that's the thing that Project Broadcast does. So with Hit'em Up, you can create a, an email text or a text like blast, if you will. And then you create the message, but then you have to send it one by a one at a one at a one at a time versus Project Broadcast. You create a message. You can attach um, the contacts, whatever type of um, campaign it is, and then it sends it all at once. So it's kind of like, depending on where you're at in your business, if you will. Like for me, doing this for six and a half years, um, I think you have to look at where you're at as far as your customer base. Are you wide? Are you trying to grow? Figure out what avenue you want to reach. I wouldn't have probably thought to use Project Broadcast um, a few years back, but now where I'm at now, I need to use my time wisely. So that's where I'm thinking, like, let's give this a try. And I think that's important as a leader to just always continue to try things. Don't stay stagnant. Don't stay stuck. If you feel like you're hearing people be successful using a certain thing, try it out. See if it works for you. Um, and I think that really is important to remember as a leader, if you're a leader on here tonight, to just always remember to evolve. So if you've never tried Google Forms, maybe take the next few days and figure that out. Get on YouTube. There's so many stinking videos on YouTube about it. Project Broadcast, there's a Sensi Project Broadcast group where people will share their campaigns. They'll share certain things and you can, you know, take what you will. Um, for me, I... Personally, I'm a YouTube person. If I can't figure it out, I get on Google. If I can't figure another thing out, I try somebody that I'm accountability with. Like use the people you know, use what Sensi gives you. I mean, Workstation in itself, you can be successful with Workstation based off the training center. I'm sure there's videos 
on there when it comes to holiday and so forth. But that's what I'm trying um, for the holiday collection this launch is still doing my Google form because I have found success with that. Um, when I share mine, I will post it in my group. I will post, I'll give the link to JC. She can post it on her group. I, I'm not on other pages, but I'm sure they're on JC's page. So you guys can check that out. Um, every single Google form, I've done it very differently. I have found it to be overwhelming if it's crazy long. So I have found different ways to group certain things into a section and Again, whole nother training, whole nother ballpark. But Google Form is such a trial and error, but you're not gonna know until you try it. So maybe try it, see what see what happens with this launch um, and see what happens as far as the connection it builds with your customers, as far as like checking your emails, see who, who benefits from checking your, the emails, who benefits from the VIP groups. You're gonna hit two different avenues. Um, not everybody's on Facebook, like I said. So. And again, we have to think if Facebook went away tomorrow, what would your business look like? So I really try to always keep that in my mind because I remember when that did happen way back when, how many years ago it was, like one, two days, I don't know, I don't remember. But I was like, well, damn, this would suck if I didn't have my ducks in a row. So it's just important to remember that as a business owner, um, what it would look like for you. But holiday wise, start talking about it now if you're good on your PRV, you know, that's where you need to be focusing on with that. That's all I have on that end. Really quick, what are those two apps? Huh? What oh, two apps? the hit them up. It's hit M. So E M up. I think there's like a free and a paid. There's like a basic and a paid for that. Um, and then the project broadcast. I'm just digging into that and I'm super excited to really dig into it because I have heard big success with it. Um, so and I'm always about trying things new because it just keeps me evolving six and a half years. Like you gotta try new things. I, I never wanna stay in one place with this. So that's what I'm gonna try. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I don't know who's next. Or, or did you say we're talking about front loading next? Um, I got a few things I can add. Okay, about I'll what, what front loading, right? So, I know um, we're talking about LTOs and holiday. Okay. So basically, I got my like my holiday plastic bin out from last year because I try to every season keep a bin because we always have extras. So, and I'll make this really quick. So in my opinion, Christmas, I love this. Huh? I feel like you're opening Christmas decorations. I love this. Well, I have bars and I have the cute little cups that I got from the dollar store and I got some leftover things. However, a lot of our scents come back. So I put them in a, my box and I can start sampling these as soon as now, because if you get an LTO and it comes back and I have some of them left, I always put them in here. So it's a good thing to, um, you know, if you have one or two bars left to save it that way, you know, you could sample it for the next year. I can already go in and start making my Christmas you know, before because I've already got my gift tags and I've still got my some of my bows. So um, I've learned over the years that you should use your own pictures instead of someone else's because I have got in myself in a rut where I have shared something. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? I've shared something and I can't find it at the store and you just feel stupid. So I've got my own stuff here so I can start taking my own pictures and marketing my own things. So I would um, highly recommend just kind of keeping your stuff, you know, saving your one or two bars. Don't get rid of it because you just, it, it most of the stuff comes back. That, that's really all I have to share. And I do use the Google Forms. Google Forms are great. And I want to get in the project broadcast too. 
So um, one thing I was going to add to is since um, we're on the topic of like last year's bars and stuff is really remembering that um, since he just changed um, like the bricks, for example, that don't come out until October, we as consultants get the opportunity to purchase these on Monday. And this is something that we like have been striving for and working towards like begging Sensi, like, listen to us. We need to be able to have these in our hands, market them, you know, warm them ourselves, um, sample them in order to get orders. And our dreams have came true. And on Monday, we have that opportunity. And if you don't invest back in your business and purchase two, four, eight of those bricks for yourself and to sample, you're doing your business at a service. And that is, you know, when they say put 10% back of your paycheck into your business, that is something to put back into your business. Warm the bricks yourself, um, make samples of them felt so that they mail flat with a holiday postcard. It doesn't have to be expensive. But teach your teams, like once you get them, go live, go live in your VIP page. Like, yes, these aren't available until da da da, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna want X, Y, and Z. Like, do a live sniff sesh, like the whole nine. That is the opportunity that we have to front load. That oh, and is now offering us. They're <laughs> under your nose, too, where you're gonna be able to smell them and give a true review to your it's customer. Also, you know? like the bricks are expensive. So, if I, I know that somebody went, oh, I cannot afford to buy all of those bricks, right? That's okay. Find somebody else on your team. It doesn't have to be your downline if you're a certified consultant, right? And you don't have anybody on your team. Find somebody else that's on your team. And if you, got, if you can afford one brick and they can afford one brick, you guys have two bricks together, split it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you half of my brick. You give me half of your brick. We can each make samples and give reviews on at least two. There's always ways around it if you can't afford to buy it all at one time. So here I am being, you know, penny saver me. I'm just becoming like a, a habit, I guess. But there well, are- I think, that you I think it's, an, it's an important viewpoint. I love that you always add like the money saving option to everything. It's extremely important for- and I would make it where each person, like if I'm buying one brick and Jessica's buying one brick, I'm going to order one and she's going to order one. Yes, you're going to pay shipping each person, right. but you want to get that PRV too, because right. I mean, that's one of the biggest perks of buying this stuff and being able to make samples is one, we can make our house smell great, right? Two, we can get it under our customers' noses and three, we get paid on it. So don't just be like, here's 20 bucks towards a brick. Plus the tax oh. write-off. You order one for like, what? make sure you're getting PRV for it as well. And then yeah, some of these I, bricks even come in bars. So you can even just buy a bar and sample it. Not I don't think you can get the bars early. So, so this, this year, I think all five fragrances are brand new. Yeah. Uh, and they're they're holiday bricks. bricks. But I did just want to say real quick, like, um, I think there's going to be a bundle available for all five of the brand new fragrances for the holiday bricks. And so if you're doing the five bundle um, and you're splitting that with someone or maybe two people or three people, like only one person's going to get the PRV for that. Mm -hmm. But I would argue that it's still worth it. Yeah, I would, I would still be willing to chip in my money and let someone else have the PRV if that's all I can afford in that moment so that I have some fragrance to get my customers in whatever way I can afford, if that makes sense. So I didn't realize that there was a bundle for all of them. So yeah, that's yeah. I don't know how much it's going to be. I think it's 90. I don't know. I, I'm not totally sure. I thought it was 90. I just wanted to say in my humble opinion, I still think it would be worth it to go in on it with someone if you can't afford all of it even if you're not getting the PRV because you will get return PRV from getting the samples out. So and, that would be and you have the option to buy two sets also. Okay. Awesome. But yeah, I didn't even think about those, those bricks coming out, JC. I'm glad that you brought that up because it totally slipped my freaking mind. That's the seventh, right? 
Yeah, Monday. Monday. There's a lot happening. There's and then zero lot and happening. zero and um, Oogie Boogie come out on Thursday, right? Somebody should get yeah. Not Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie doesn't come out till November. November. Okay, so it's just zero comes out on Thursday. and that warmer, I think, and the bitty buddies or something. So there's like a leaves mini oh, warmer oh, and then yeah. the Got bitty buddy squish things. Yeah. So make sure if you haven't how we're talking about this Google form and everything and all of the the how JC was talking about how she reaches out to her people. Do all of that with zero and the idiot, the bitty buddies and that mini warmer and watch your PRV jump on Thursday. That's why taking uh, LTOs and stuff is so big. And it yeah. you cannot, well, oh, praise God, you cannot rely on just Facebook. No, just no, no, no. Just your story. Don't forget about the warmer too from the Harvest Collection. That's just coming out as well. Yeah. Like you have, you have to stay on top of the news tab. Like that's where it's at. Like you have to stay on top of the news tab. You need a planner, whatever you do with your phone, mobile, and your calendar. Like you can't depend on your directors to post what's on the news tab and what's coming and what's going. No. Nope. Like if you want to get, you know, down to the grit of it. I know I posted a calendar on my team page. So anybody who's on my team page, it will put, it will share like on dates of September, September, the rest of it, what's coming out. So you can doodle what's coming out so you can start planning those. That That's where, where it happens with front loading. You have to know what's coming out. Like for me, I'm front loading my NFL sales because I know NFL is dropping on the 29th. So you have to think about that. So on the 29th, you're good to go. So now on Thursday, the Gilded Warmer, you're good to go because you started talking about it. Those types of things are front loading because you're planning ahead. You know when it's coming and not just waiting for, guess what? It's Thursday. All these things are happening, but I didn't share it. I didn't talk about it. And I didn't it's plan like today, for it. Um, Stitch, if you pre-ordered it, you got your email today, not the buddy, just the warmer and the bar. But yep. still, I mean, you have to know, do you remember who pre-ordered it? Have you connected with them? I mean, that's PRV opportunity to rise if you're on top of it. So do we want to jump into front loading on that note? I think we should, if anyone has any amazing ideas on front loading. There are so many different things with front yes. loading that literally we could probably talk for three hours on front loading alone. Um, so this will be a condensed version. So whoever your director is or whoever you're close with, um, if you have questions over something we say and we don't get to the question, um, reach out to your upline or your sponsor or one of us. Who wants to start talking front loading? Anyone? I mean, I guess I can. So um, I am not, like I try really, really hard uh, with front loading, but I'm not some master at it. Um, I try to stay on top of things that are coming out. And I guess I never even categorize that as front loading, but it is, when I think front loading, I'm thinking about the upcoming month. That's what jumps out at me when I think front loading. So for example, um, what I'm in, what month is this? I'm in September. So I'm thinking about October. Now this can get really, really overwhelming if you're new or if you're in a slum, which we all go into slums. Hopefully your slum is not in the fall. Um, but this, that's where it can get tricky. So what you have to do is you have to get a month ahead. And when you're in it, it's really hard to get a month ahead. And I will tell you that when I and get in that mindset, like I need to get a month ahead, like right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not a month ahead. I should be, but life happens and I got sick and whatever. I'm not a month ahead. So now I've got to play catch up. So how am I going to get a month ahead? I have to be a multitasker. I have to focus on what I'm doing right now so that this month's sales don't drop. My team doesn't feel let down. But on top of all of that, I have to be thinking about next month. So that can get hard because sometimes when you're juggling, a ball gets dropped, right? So to get a month ahead, sometimes your current month sales, I do feel will go down just because you're focusing so hard on that next month. Now that should only happen once in that transition. 
Um, but what you're doing is you're booking parties for um, the, the next month. And I think JC even does like a month or two out or three out. Like she has them on the books for way out. I have not got to that level yet, but hopefully soon. Um, but you don't want to wait until October to book parties for October, because how are you going to be planning to know, okay, I need to start this party on this day. It's going to leave you where, um, if you have any type of anxiety at all, it's going to skyrocket. I feel like direct sales in general, you have, if you have any, if you're prone to anxiety, you're going to have higher anxiety, but there are ways to make it better. And that I think front loading is a big part of that. So book parties out ahead, go ahead and get your groups ready. Find out who is doing, um, just doing shopping links, get those shopping links set up and sent to them ahead of time. Um, reach out and make sure you're talking with your host. Like if you are booked a party for the second week of October, you should have a little thing in your calendar or however you're keeping track of things to reach out to them, you know, a week or two before their party is starting so that they can be hyping up their customers, like, you know, their friends, whatever. If you have somebody who's planning on, oh, I want to join when I get paid on the 31st. Well, you don't want to tell them, no, don't join on the 31st. But you also don't want to wait until the 31st to message them. Like all of those things, I think, play into front loading. Like I said, I'm not no front loading pro. Um, I'm very much a fly off the seat of my pants person, but that causes a lot of anxiety. I do have a planner that has everything written down and it's not in front of me, which is part of the reason why I think I'm all over the place. But get yourself a system. Systems and front loading go one on, I think, like together. So that's what I have. Who wants to go next? I love it, KJ. Good job. Um, I don't have much to add. Well, I know I said I did have a lot to add, but that's not exactly true. Um, what I want to tell you guys about front loading is kind of basic, kind of simple, but it's just the truth about how I do it and what front loading means to me. Um, when I think about front loading, I think about parties. Okay, it can mean a lot of things, but to me, that's what I think. And the way that I get parties, the way that I get shopping links going and Facebook groups going and things planned on my calendar is nine times out of 10 by texting people and starting a conversation with them. Sometimes it's a Facebook message, but nine times out of 10, it's a text message. How do I keep track of that? the app AMI. I know that we've talked about this before. Um, some people call it Amy. It used to be called Maven. Um, there is a free version, but I highly recommend the paid version. It's $7.99 a month. Um, it's directly linked to my workstation. So what happens is I will go to a certain section in the app and it literally will tell me, hey, why don't you contact this person? It's been three months since their last order. Okay, guess who I'm going to text and say blah, 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 and try and get them to be on my books for the next upcoming month. I'm going to tell them one or two things that's coming. Maybe they can try and earn that for free or half off. Can I go ahead and send them a shopping link? Maybe set up a group. They can see a couple pictures, however you want to word it. But front loading to me, nine times out of 10 means texting them and directly one-on-one -on -one having a conversation. Um, like I said, sometimes it's a Facebook message, but like KJ and Stacy both have mentioned, like you cannot just rely on Facebook. Like that is not a thing. And it took me a really long time to realize that um, you can't just make a status. You can't just post in your VIP group one time. You can't just say, hey, who wants to have a party? It's, it's not a thing, you guys. It might have been a thing 10 years ago, but it's not anymore. Um, so I just wanted to tell you a very, very, very simple way. Like if you need to simplify all of this and just start from the beginning, um, like KJ said, let's try and come up with a system for you and start somewhere. AMI, that app can be a system and that's what I personally use. And it tells me exactly who I need to be talking to how long it's been since they ordered or how long it's been since I talked to them. 
And I make sure to get in touch with them and make it as personable and authentic as I can. So they don't feel like I'm just hitting them up for an order. Like it's not that I want it to be authentic and I want it to be real. And this app helps you keep track of that. Um, because sometimes when I'm texting them, I don't even jump straight into business. I'll just literally ask them how they're doing. Like today I, I was texting with someone who I know she lost her stepfather and I genuinely care about that. And I remembered that she lost him and I asked her how she was doing. I wasn't about to jump on her and ask her about hosting for next month, but maybe she'll remember me next month if she needs something. Yeah, and, you okay? Um, yeah. So I just wanted to tell you guys that if you need to start somewhere simple, I can't suggest that enough. Um, front loading. That's front loading for me in a nutshell. Um, what do you guys think? Does anybody else have any, like, any ideas on front loading that doesn't sound anything like what we just said? I think JC might. Stacy, do you got anything? Marcella, uh, Donna, none of you guys have been quiet tonight. Um, I don't really. Um, pretty much front loading. I use my scent warmer of the month to do that. Um, and then any type of launch like the holiday or the harvest launch. Um, and I do find that <clears throat> kind of going off of what you guys were saying about don't rely on Facebook um, because I feel like, and I know Trisha, I see her on, uh, we've talked about this, that, and not yeah. like, I don't know how to say this the correct way, but <clears throat> kind of like our generation of people they don't sit on Facebook all day long. So I have more success with an email. Um, so if we have a launch or, um, you know, like the, um, the warmer of the month, I will send out an email about any type of thing like that. And this past Harvest Launch was my biggest front loading month ever. I had almost, I think it was like almost $900, dollars or $900 going in on the first um, because of front loading and sending out an email, reaching out one-on-one -on -one and not just relying on Facebook. Um, so that's, I mean, that's really about all I have. Just um, they kind of go hand in hand for me as far as um, front loading, don't rely on Facebook. You have to reach out or you have to know your customer base. So that's about all I had. Congrats on your sale, Donna. That's awesome for your front loading. Yeah, that's awesome. Such a good feeling to start the first of the month off. And that was something I was talking to JC about today was just like, front loading as a key being like very wide, just not just focusing on the holiday because yeah, you can prep the holiday all day long, but after the first, what do you have after that? So that's why it's so important. Don't just focus on holiday. You really have to extend branches. <laughs> like if so, you, you, you have to like find out who your people are. You have to run the report who has purchased from previous holiday launches. Use those sale reports, go into your reporting tab, hit the sales report, go under product, but that you can like, what is it called? Like list product or something. You know what I'm talking about? List. Yeah. So like you, you can literally type like list product, like you could put, I mean, the campers coming back out, maybe it's someone who loved the camper. If they love it, maybe they have a friend that might love it too. Maybe they want to gift it. They already love it. So find out who's purchased those types of warmers. Um, find out your feelers, like who is starting to buy Christmas presents. Start asking that in your customer group. Um, but going off on that, like it's just so important to not just focus on that. Yes, we want to start the month strong, but what do you have after the first day of the month? So that's where you need to think and plan ahead of what's coming out. I mean, 
Like we know the brick thing is happening. And I was talking to JC today about that. Like, it's so cool that they're doing that. And the fact that we get to have two, because I know for me, I like to sample a lot. And if you're someone that does a lot of mailers, a lot of PWS mail, a lot of Sensi Club, you're not, you, you have to look at what your business looks like. It may look completely different to this person next to you. And that's fine because you are your own business owner. But so you have to evaluate what does that look like for you? Do you do a lot of mailers? Then you need to invest in a bundle for yourself, a bundle to sample, do as you wish. But I love that we get to do that. So I highly encourage to do that, you guys, because that's going to front line your sales. Because if you haven't been around for those holiday brick bundles, it is so frustrating to when we get to get orders for those and some people are like, well, do you have a sample? I would love to smell it. No, I don't. I'm so sorry. But if you trust my sniffer, that doesn't work every time. But now that we get this ability, I highly encourage you to do so. And if guess what? If you can't find it in your budget, then sell some more wax. We have 10 days left. Like, do what works for you, but do it to where you like. You set yourself up for success in, in October. It's going to be the third month of the incentive. What does your incentive tab look like? Is it not where you want to be? Use what Sensi is giving you. They're doing this to help you. So that's going to be front loading your sales. Um, like I said, the NFL thing, that's what I'm focusing on right now with NFL. Um, finding out it's football season. People are in it. They're ready. You need to find out who's, who's cheering for what team. I went to deliver an order a week or two ago and where I was going because I was actually paying attention um, when I got out to put their order on their, their front door, they had a Rams rock in their flower bed. So guess what? I had that conversation. So it's just finding out who your customers are, which, what teams they root for. So next Sunday, figure it out. Thursday night football, figure it out. Guess what? It's Monday night football. I mean, I, is it happening right now? I don't know. But look, find out those people um, for the football. Uh, I'm trying to think what other launches we have for next month. We'll find out at the end of the month. So that too, this is a big thing that I really, really challenge you all to do. If you don't watch the end of the month live with Dan, start this month. Start this month because use that end of the month live to plan your October. Use it to, to write out what's coming out, who is going to be a great hostess, what can I plan for, those types of things. Um, if you're not yet doing that, that's something that is essential. Yeah, it's cool to see and like to cheer each other on, but use that live for your business, okay? Get a pen and paper out, write it out. Make it into a list if you're a list person. That way you're visual. That way come October 1st, you know who to have a conversation with. And then when you have, if you're someone like me that needs 10, 15 minutes that I'm crashing to figure my stuff out because I have a baby and two other kids, I can't sit at my desk for hours of a day. So when I get time, I'm going to have that already planned ahead of time by using that end of the month flag. I'm not sure why my alarm's going off. Um, but use those types of things to front load. Um, holiday, we've talked about. Warmer of the month, Donna talked about. Um, Start, start marking that. People who were bombed about the Enchanted, guess what? Show them why they need this mosaic. You know, share with them why it's beautiful. Share those real life photos. If you don't, guess what? Somebody else is going to. And like I said, for whatever reason, when it comes to a sale, when it comes to certain things, people may think that this person has, has access to it early. That's why I encourage people, don't not share the sale. Because sometimes people will think, well, this person ha is having a sale. They don't realize that it's actually Sensi wide. <laughs> so always share. Um, don't feel like you're annoying because at the end of the day, those who, like we talked about, those who mind, like they might, or whatever the saying is, I can't even figure it out, right? You know what I'm talking about. Those who, what is it? Those who mind, those who matter. Those who matter, don't mind. Thank you. Yes. So always remember that too, because that was something that I struggled with early on was just like, I really don't want to be that person. But guess what? They don't pay your bills. You do this for a reason. Get up and move. Um, and front loading your events. 
figuring out what that looks like for you. Uh, events have been falling into my lap recently. I was talking to JC, like I don't run my business doing events, but that is something that is just falling in my lap because I'm showing up for my business and people are tagging me. They're talking about me. They're sharing me. So now I'm getting these people that are asking me to do events, um, which is exciting because I crave interaction. I built my business on home parties. I love it. Um, so now that it's kind of opening back up, it's nice. So look at that as far as that goes. Um, and two, one thing I really want to focus on, well, to talk at the end of what I'm going to talk about, but Scentsy Club. So you have a workstation and you can see what Scentsy Club you have coming out for next month. Okay. You need to look at that, at that as front loading. For me, I have 25 subscribers, okay? This month, I only had three club subscriptions run, only three. Next month, I have 16. If I would have depended on my three club, I wouldn't have hit high PRV this month. I knew I had to go hard this month because I couldn't, I couldn't really like front load my, my month with Cincy Club because I knew I only had three. So look at that as your front loading. So me knowing I had three, I knew I had to push hard. So I have over 4,000 today because I knew I had to push in different avenues. I knew I had to, to do an event. I knew I had to do um, parties. I knew I had to do exponential follow-up, all the things, because I have high PRV goals this fall and moving forward in my business. Um, you always have to adjust. You always have to adjust your sales when it comes to Sensi. If you're staying stagnant in your business, like for a lot of people, I feel like, okay, like if you joined, if you joined last year during hyper growth, right? Things were crazy. Things were exciting. Things were bumping and booming left and right. It was hard to keep up. You built your business super, super strong. And then maybe you're at a, like a dead stop right now. Because I, I, I'm hearing that because people look at, well, recruiting down or sales are down, blah, blah, blah. And I've said it too, like, well, I wonder what's going on. It's always important to adjust your sales that you're not just focusing on one thing. So if you're not someone that's that when you join this business and you didn't do parties, you're going to probably have to start. And I say that in truth because it's important to realize where we're at today and not where we were at last year. So that's kind of what I wanted to like share as far as front loading goes, because I'm so passionate about it. I, I think it's because I'm a planner and I like to know where I'm going <laughs> and with what's coming. So it's very important to look at that. Like we have 11 days left in the month. Um, what does your October look like? Look at how many clubs you have look at, you know, start planning the holiday, right? Start planning the warmer of the month. Um, we're going to be focusing on bricks, but look at parties, look at events, look at those types of things and never just sit, never just feel comfortable, right? Because if you're feeling comfortable, that's great in a way, but it's not going to grow you. So it's kind of what I wanted to say. I'm done. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I think I heard a lot of, you need to be intentional in that. I feel like you can't just wander into October 1st, October 10th and be like, oh, what am I about to do? Like, let's start planning. Let's, being inten let's be intentional, right? Right. And I, I'll say very first, like I used to be that person. I've been there. I've me bought too. the t-shirt like me it is too. what it is but yeah. I'm sure all of us leaders here today can say like we've done it we've been there and we're just being honest like it's not if you want to build and see the fruit of your labor it's not the way to ride the train I'll tell you that <laughs> because you're gonna find burnout you're gonna get tired and especially now too you're in busy season so with what you do right now it's gonna continue to do that into the spring so if you're running like crazy rampant you're gonna hit a dead stop and you're gonna freaking get tired because you're not gonna have any oil on the, on 
on the pedals anymore. <laughs> so you want to just keep moving. Yeah, definitely. I guarantee you, JC doesn't sit there and wander into October, do you? No way, Jose. I feel like my favorite thing to do nowadays is that, again, I've been in y'all's place of not front loading before. And then when you do, and you do consistently, there's nothing better than sitting on the first of the month at 1K every single month. There's nothing better than the 15th hitting your 2K goal or before. And then what's today's date? Like the, what is it? 20th sitting at 5,500. It's not because I sit back and not do anything at all. It's because I front load, because I plant those seeds a lot now because of Cincy Club. All of the things that were mentioned tonight were mentioned through just evolving and trying new things in your business and just not like, it's always okay to not be okay, but it's just not okay to stay there. And you should always want what's next in your business. You should always never be content. I mean, people get excited because they, you know, hit $800 on the first. Well, that's great. But the 15th, are you at 2K? Because you should be. Like push yourself, push, your, push yourself to what's next. Don't just stay there because you're there. Don't just stay there because you hit those trip points of a thousand and you know, you hit your second out of uh, five months. No, why wouldn't you want a 2K paycheck or a $600 paycheck because of 2K or more? Like push yourself party you guys know I went through all the parties last season which led me to where I'm at right now I don't have to party because y'all I haven't done a single party this month I'm going to be honest with you but last month last month of last year I did it non-stop party packs out the door all the parties running a dang rat race 9 12 15 parties a month which led me to this customer base that I can't keep up with, which is now is an indication it's time to flip all those people, people that are doing club, they can get paid off themselves. Like those are the next conversations to have when your customer for when your customer base grows to a certain point, you gotta look at them and be like, okay, who would who can I bless this business with? Why, why give me your money? Why don't you make your money? You know, things like that but it happens with all the ideas that were shared tonight, investing. Like I know purchasing X, Y, and Z isn't always in your budget, but maybe you shouldn't stop at Starbucks three days a week and spend $5 and $20 that week. And you should invest in your business to buy a brick. And then you should make samples of that brick. And then you should send it in a stamp, in a stamp with a postcard out. And then you should follow up. Like those are the fruits of the labor, you guys. You have to put the work in to see the results. I promise you, I'm on my girls' his asses about it all the time. No, don't just buy the LTO if you're not gonna sample it and if you're not gonna follow up with those people. Don't even waste your money or your time, it's pointless. Like you have to put the work in. I promise you guys with consistency, things will fall into place. But now's the time, this fall season, is the time partying getting those party packs out showing how fun that is that's what I did all season last year that's why people come to me now and choose me just those little simple things of getting something in the mail and not just your regular Facebook party hey click this link and buy the, the going the live the connecting get sending a party pack out again it can be in a 25 cent stamp if you want it to be Throw some glitter in there and make it fun. It's what you do that sets you apart from everyone else. Not everyone's going to invest in these bricks, you guys. Not everyone. The statistics actually are probably going to be very low at, for, at first, but it only makes sense. Invest in your business. Take the time to make the samples. I promise you, get them out. Follow up. You may not see it right away but we're gonna have this opportunity going forward 
for every single LTO. So what comes in November that we're gonna get the chance to do it in October? Sense of the season typically comes out. There's another one. People want to smell it before they buy it and we now have that opportunity. That's huge. That's huge that we get this opportunity to purchase these things early. It's huge for our business. I promise you guys, it's huge. How many times do people tell you, well, what does it smell like? Well, I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet. Like that sucks, right? That sucks that people want to sniff it. Now's our time to get this early. Invest. Tell your people to invest. Share why you should invest. When you are making your samples, when you are having those conversations, screenshot that. Share it on your team pages. People want to see what exactly you're saying. The real life conversations. Not just telling them to follow up. What exactly are you doing? What does your conversation look like? Share those things. People want real life more than anything. They want to be able to relate to you. Okay, she said this. I can do that. I, I can send a text message and follow up and say X, Y, and Z too. That's all I really have. I think everything was pretty well covered tonight. It's honestly just how bad do you want it? How much time are you going to put into it? What the marketing is going to look like to you? Another thing I'm just going to throw in there. And again, y'all, I don't want to make myself sit on this big pedestal. I just was where you're at. And I felt feel like people do better with guidance and people do better with learning what works. Um, this past flash sale, the orders why I'm sitting at 5,500 PRV was from that sale. I think I did 1,600. What? I'm sorry. What? A random clearance buffer that since he just gives you. Here you go. Why? Because I marketed the hell out of it. I did personal shopping links. I connected. I did the mystery hostess. I gave away all. I mean, literally, I'm trying to like get everybody's mystery hostess that one. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 winners on a $1,300 party because some people did their own links too. I'm trying to get everybody's orders together because I'm giving back the rewards. It didn't happen because I sat back and I didn't do anything. I took advantage of what Cincy gave us on a silver platter and I said, I'm making this mine. And I was telling a few of my directors today that typically in previous years sales, I, I did around the 500 mark when they did, would do, because they load the clearance section like this twice a year. They throw flash sales on top of that. Typical years, I would do like 500 and I was, and that was great. But honestly, this month I'm pushing for a huge goal. And I'm like, what can I do differently? And I, I went hard, you guys, I spent a good two hours pushing myself, sending emails, sending text messages, creating personal shopping links. Uh, we didn't know what was going to be on the sale, but all you could do was promote the sale. And that's where it landed me. Again, I, I worked up to that is what I'm trying to say. It didn't happen overnight. I, I, I worked up to that. I started with just a few orders. I started hitting, you know, enough for a single party. Awesome. Then you hit your 500 mark and then it just goes up. Like your customer base is increased. The work you put in increases and it comes tenfold for you, but you have to put the work in. And this is hard because it's a business where it's not something you have to clock into. I mean, right now I'm tired and shit. I was up at 5.30 this morning working out. I want to go to bed, but I know that this putting the work in, sharing with all of you guys is what makes everybody else successful too. You choose your heart every single day, just like in your business. There's nobody telling you to clock in, to clock out. You choose your heart. That's all I have. I don't know if anybody else has anything else. I was listening the whole time, but I was putting my kid back to sleep. Um, to anybody else? Yeah. Um, I love how you keep it real. Like you were literally like, you're going to sit and you're going to complain about a, buying a $20 brick, but you're going to go to the dollar spot seven <laughs> times this week. You know what I mean? Like oh, I, I'm, guilty. I'm guilty of it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm starting, like, I'm starting to buy the LTOs, even if like, how am I supposed to tell somebody to buy the LTO if I didn't even buy it? You know what I mean? And, and how am I going to explain what I think it smells like? Like Donna and I were talking earlier. I'm like, what do you think this new scent of October smells like? And she said, somebody said black licorice. I said, I didn't even read the scent description. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even know it was black licorice on here. It smells like pumpkin to me. So if I explain it to somebody, you know, like, my, what I smell isn't what they smell. And if I'm not going to spend the six bucks to buy that bar, 
and I'm going to go buy me a $7 Starbucks drink. Who's winning here? Starbucks, you know? So I mean, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to let my teamies know that because if y'all are on here, I'm glad JC said something because thanks for speaking to us all because we need to hear those things. I'm guilty of it too, you know? So thanks. We all are. Do you know how many times I hit up Target last week? It's embarrassing how much money Target took from me last week. I, I think it's definitely a, it's a sacrifice game. I mean, how bad do you want it? And what are you willing to sacrifice? Whether it's your time, it's that Starbucks drink. We all know I'm a Starbucks addict. I kind of was like, damn, is she talking to me? <laughs> and I wasn't. Oh, I was just I was literally, I was talking to about the dollar spot. <laughs> literally, Target or freaking Starbucks. And I have been very, very good. I've been making my coffee at home. But I was like, damn, she's talking to me right now. Shit, I got to get it together. <laughs> literally, because it like spoke to me. But it's not just like money. Like, yes, stop. Like, okay. Um, I don't know. Starbucks is a great example. A dollar spot at Target. Target's 45 minutes. Um, how about Drive we talk about money. Netflix? So oh, I can't even go that far. But like your right. time is a big one. I think time is another one that I want to, like, if you were hard on people about money and if you're spending your money here, you can buy it here. My thing is your time. Do you think I don't want to spend... I work full time now. Like I went back to work. So my time's very limited with my kids. Do you think that I wanted to pack scent crates today? Do a zoom here today, do mail. Like I probably see my kids for like three hours today, you know, but tomorrow I'm gonna make up for it because tomorrow I'll spend time with the kids. You know, you have to find a balance and there is going to be a sacrifice in the like eye on the prize. Like eventually I'm not going to have to leave it all, you know, but you can't also don't run yourself into the freaking ground. Okay. When I say like, sacrifice your time i'm not saying like hey have no life and eat sleep and breathe sensei no because you're gonna get <laughs> burnt out and it's gonna do you more harm in the long run but you know instead of binge watching that tv show how about you work for an hour and only watch two hours of tv you know i think that that's a big one but yeah i mean th eat. that goes right back to being intentional i mean yeah. it, that's just it, we're not saying don't have a life don't eat any food don't go to sleep only work like it's it's not that it's just think about your time wisely like because it is money it is and it wouldn't matter if you were doing a you know like if you think about a full-time job like if you're sitting in an office desk like time is money you have to be intentional with what you have that means getting up earlier in the morning to get X, Y, and Z done. If that means staying up later, I don't know how many times I've told you, I've literally put my kids to bed and I get my ass back up. Lately, I'm trying to change it. I'm trying to get up in the mornings when my husband goes to work while they're still sleeping. That way I can go to bed early at night with them. Either way, whatever you do, you choose your heart. What's important is that you're, you're doing it. That's what's important. Absolutely. So does anybody have any more questions before we let you go for the night? I think tonight we covered a lot of really good things. Thank you, all of you for showing up. I think you're showing up for your business. You're showing up and showing that, you know, you're showing your leaders to invest in you too. You know, um, anybody who has a big team, really, you have a, any team at all. If somebody can't put in, like, what is it you say, JC, match effort, you know, you guys showing up here shows us that you want it. Therefore, we are more likely to just continue to pour, but we, we've only got so much in our cups as well. So we have to focus on who really wants it. So I think all of you showing up shows that you do want it. And we are super grateful. One thing I want to jump in and say real quick is talking with Jess. Um, she's always told me to get uncomfortable. And that's something that JC and Stacy have both said. And a conversation I just had with Jess um, I think it was a couple nights ago, right? Um, somebody had yeah, posted so. on um, like one of the local pages out here in New York where I just moved to asking about, they had found a picture of Tigger, Pooh, and Eeyore. And they were really wanting Eeyore. Like I kind of went out of my comfort zone and posted saying, hey, if you're still looking, go ahead, you know, reach out to me. Because four other people had posted prior to tagging other consultants. Well, lo and behold, she ended up reaching out to me. I ended up give, making her a party link, but something else me and Jeff talked about. I now have seven links going from the flash sale. And then plus an Eeyore sale. She got Eeyore and a couple bars. 
that's amazing. Congratulations. Told me to, you know, get uncomfortable with things. And so I'm trying. It's you hard. can do hard things. You can do very hard things. That's awesome. That's one thing about I go into school. Like she knows how easily uncomfortable I can get. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Keep it up. Be consistent. You can continue to do hard things. And as soon as that's comfortable, find something else that's uncomfortable and keep going. Yep. And um, I think a bunch of people touched on keep evolving. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming. And we will see you guys next week. The recording will be up later tonight or tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye. Guys. Bye.